is, is a sad moment for you? It's definitely a, uh, a day of mixed emotions for me. I joined the SNP when I was a, a teenager in, uh, uh, in Edinburgh, and uh, the idea that the SNP would be winning elections, would be in government, that I would be elected, that I would have been in the UK Parliament, that I'd now be in the Scottish Parliament, and that people would think that I might make a good First Minister would never ever have entered my mind and it's a huge honour to hear from so many people who were encouraging and saying you should go for it, you should, uh, uh, you, 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 sh you should make a run at, at becoming First Minister and people saying that they think that I would have done a good job and that's, what can you say, it's humbling to think that that's what, what people I think. to balance that with the responsibility as a father of two very young children, I've got a one and a half year old and a three and a half year old and for anybody who knows how absolutely consuming uh, political office is, um, it is an invidious um, situation to be in and for your children to be in, for your family to be in. I have had to think long and hard about uh, what, what decision I should reach but boiling it down to basic principles I have to do the best job that I can as a, as a cabinet secretary in the Scottish Government and I think I managed to do that with two young children. I don't think that that would work as First Minister, First Minister. And, so and so my children, my family has to come first. Was it a surprise to you last week when Nicola Sturgeon made her own announcement? It was a surprise. Um, I was... Um, I, I was surprised but I wasn't really shocked if that makes sense. She's done eight years. It's immensely grinding. Uh, and takes a huge personal toll on anybody in public office and uh, it's a very rare thing for political careers to come to a, a, whatever one might consider a natural end. People have to decide the circumstances that they're in and, and act accordingly and I have the utmost respect. Nicola and I, I joined the SNP both as sort of 15 and 16 year olds and giving my age away here in the, um, the mid-1980s uh, and we've been part of something which is quite remarkable. We've gone from being on the fringes of, uh, of Scottish politics to being at the heart of UK politics, and we are changing Scotland, I think, for the better, and Nicola Sturgeon will be remembered very fondly in office. She's still a young woman, she still has, has much to offer, and I look forward to hearing and seeing that, and I hope that I can make a contribution. But in the first instance, I have to also make sure that I'm a good dad, I'm a good husband, and that I'm at home when I need to be home, as well as being a good government minister, hopefully. Are you throwing your support behind one particular candidate? I, at, at the present time, we, we, ha we don't even know who the, all the candidates are going to be, so I think today is a day for me to make my views clear about what I'm doing or what I'm not doing. Um, so I'm, I'm not running to be first minister, as somebody else has said, I'm, I'm trying to be first dad. Uh, and that's um, my priority, as at the same time, hopefully doing the best possible job that I can as Cabinet Secretary for the Constitution, External Affairs and Culture, and of course, as Member of the Scottish Parliament for Edinburgh Central.